Hey guys, I'm Louis from Louis Loops, and uh, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make one of these flowers. Um, they're really great because they have a big hole in the middle that you can put a button on, anything you want, and just button one of these flowers onto it. Uh, and they're pretty easy too. So yeah, I'm going to teach you how to make one of these. I'll throw it right there for right now. So today I'm just going to be using a size G crochet hook. Uh, it's kind of small, but uh, it's the best size for making one like this size. If you if you want to make one really big, you can use a, a bigger hook and some bigger yarn. Um, today I'm just using some pink of uh, Lion Brands Cottonies yarn. Um, and it's kind of a small yarn too, so sorry it's going to be a kind of tiny uh, video, but yeah. So to start off, we want to make a slip knot and chain nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and we want to go into the first chain we made right here and slip stitch one into it. Just like that. Okay, now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to around the the whole um, line of chains we want a single crochet and we're going to want to do a single crochet 18 all the way around so we're going to go under it like that so not like into any of the chains but around it and chain and single crochet 18 all the way around so that's one and while we're doing that we're going to want to uh, go around this um, our string so we can hide it in. So there's one, two, see I'm going around it, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, going 10 11 12 13 14 15 all right so 16 17 and 18 all right now we're going to want to slip stitch into our first slip stitch right, right here, if you can see, right there. We want to just slip stitch into that. Okay, and we're not going to turn uh, the entire the entire pattern's not turned. Um, now I'm going to teach you how to do petals. So to start off, um, I'm going. You're going to want to chain ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we have ten chains just like that. Now we want to count three stitches over. So one, two, three, and go into that one right here. And just slip stitch into that. Okay, I'll do that one more time and then I'm going to speed it up because um, you have to do that six times total. So, chain 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Count three over, 1, 2, 3, and go into that one. Okay, and slip stitch. Okay, so I'm going to speed it up from here, and um, I'll regain it once we get to the end. Okay, okay so we're at the end, and we, we, we're going to count three over, one, two, three, and slip stitch this last pedal into that, um, into the very first one. Okay. 
So now what we're going to want to do is, like we did in the circle, we want to single crochet around this um, loop. Um, so, and there's a little pattern to it, so we're going to do, we're going to be making the petals, we're not going to turn still, um, and we're going to single crochet two around the petal, one, two, half, do half double crochet two, one, two, double crochet four, one, two, three, and four, and then go backwards, and we're going to half double crochet two more, one, oops, try that again, one, and two, single crochet two, one, and two. Okay? So then I'll make our petal, and we're going to slip stitch into where the other slip stitch from when we did the petals is. So right here. Okay? Right here we want to slip stitch into there. Just like that. And there we go, we have a petal. So we want to do that six more times, and I'll show you how to do it once more, and then I'll, um, I'll speed it up to show you the rest. So let's do two single crochets, okay, two half double crochets, four double crochets, and four. Okay, two half double crochets, and two single crochets, one, oopsies, and two, okay, slip stitch into that bottom one right here where it's connected, like that, and there you go. Okay, so I'm going to speed up the rest of this so I can, and I'll, and I'll regain once we get to the end. Okay, so we finished the last, uh, we're on the end of the last petal right here. And we want to slip stitch into where the very first one is again. So, oops, so we want to go right here and slip stitch in it. Oop. Okay, so pull one through. Okay, there we go. So we're going to want to cut the end off, cut it off right around here, we don't need it too long. And pull all the way through, just like that. Okay, we want to get our needle and thread it at the end, right here. Okay, just like that. And we want to go right into where um, we pulled it through, so right around here. Like this. Okay. Turn it around. And we want to go into um, just the backs right here, right around there, and go through it a little bit just to hide the, the end of the thread. Okay. There we go. And just pull through. Oops. Preferably not around a petal. <laughs> there we go. 
kita and cut it right at the end and we'll cut the other thread from the beginning also at the end just like that and right there like that and there we go we got a flower and again you need I think a seven eighth seven eight inch wait yeah seven eight seven eighths of an inch uh, an in diameter button works perfect for uh, the size of these the whole um, but yeah hope you guys enjoyed that please like and subscribe um, and yeah check out more patterns on my website Louis Loops and thanks for watching guys